All your stage manager questions answered. What's going on YouTube? Happy WWDC 2022 week. Today we are taking a look at stage manager, going through all the features and functionality, some of the things Apple didn't mention in depth. So stay tuned as we're going to be covering iPad OS 16 in depth. Hit the subscribe button, click the bell so you don't miss as we cover all things iPad Pro, Apple Talk, and Pro Audio. I'm Chris Grant Jr. It's the Granite Geek Show. Okay, so diving right in, I've got my screen record on here and what we have is stage manager open with one primary window, which is a Safari window backed up by a YouTube app. Now, one thing you may not know, the first little tidbit is that this bypasses YouTube not wanting you to be able to play videos in the background. For instance, I got an MKBHD video playing here and I'm able to switch between Safari and that and switch other apps into the foreground and use those while having YouTube play in the background. So this is a really useful feature I always find myself wanting to watch or listen to videos in the background and sometimes it's just not possible because YouTube uh, limits that functionality. Um, obviously what you're seeing here is that you can't actually see the video but that's fixable too. If you look down in the bottom left hand corner of the Safari window you'll see a little corner notch and what you can do is grab that and you can actually resize your windows and uh, when you do that you're able to see YouTube and you're able to play that no problem as well as interact with Safari, effectively split screen multitasking here. But you can resize windows to anything you want, including taking them all the way to full screen. Um, when that happens, you see that the little corner notch moves over to the right side, and you can just grab that anytime to enter back into Stage Manager. So that's really, really helpful. And of course, you can switch back and forth between them uh, in order to uh, have them in the foreground. Now, when it comes to switching into another app, we can simply, for instance, I'm using voice memos to record some audio for this. We can drag that right into uh, Stage Manager as well. And while the windows look a little janky, um, like in terms of the the order of them, we are able to just tap on any of them or if you have your mouse, you can click into any of the spaces and it will bring said app to the foreground. So that's also really useful, just having multiple windows on top of windows, just like you would in a Mac OS operating system or a Windows operating system. So super helpful. I think it's getting a little cluttered because right now, multi-screen um, stage manager mode and split screen still exist. So for instance, if I pull down here on the control center, I can disable multi-screen uh, stage manager mode and now we are back into split screen. So I really think Apple needs to choose between one or the other. Now truthfully I think by the time iPad OS 16 comes out uh, split screen will be a thing of the past but as for now um, you can use both of them at the same time. I can not only see the status of the apps on the sidebar there it keeps them live keeps them active um, but I can just switch between them so flawlessly and effortlessly. So as you can see I just jumped into YouTube Studio for iOS and you can see it takes up the entire screen without having that corner notch in order to throw it back into stage manager. This is because right now not all apps are supporting stage manager and so you have to enter an app that does support it in order to get the stage manager functionality. Now this is just a time sensitive thing. I truly believe that every app will support stage manager at some point in time except for settings because even when we had a multi-screen uh, split screen the way we used to resize windows and stuff like that settings was still a full screen app there was no way to put it in a slide over card there was no way to uh, split screen it with another app it was always a full screen app um, and so right now I think that a lot of that functionality is carried over um, into stage manager but I think over time even maybe with settings uh, that could be changed now the reason for this is settings uses a lot of real system function apps like resetting your entire device okay now next let's talk about external monitor support now I did a full video showcasing what's wrong with it as right now it's not usable for me um, but external display support is only compatible with M1 iPad so that's gonna be your M1 iPad Air and your M1 iPad Pro uh, 11 inch and 12 inch and all those things so you're gonna need the M1 chip and its processor the RAM that it has access to even extendable RAM by using 
using the SSD itself to add more RAM. Uh, that kind of functionality is going to allow for multiple apps to be running at the same time and with an external monitor up to eight apps running at the same time. And then finally, guys, we can group apps. So as you can see right here, I have Pixelmator running in the foreground and it is the only app right now on the stage with Stage Manager. Now I can resize this. If I make it longer, it'll eventually take away the dock. The dock will auto hide and you'll have to pull up. If I make it shorter, but perhaps wider, um, the, the apps to the side will disappear. Um, and if you do it wider and longer, it'll take up the full screen, of course. But we can always go right back into Stage Manager here and resize it so that we get both. Um, but this here, Pixelmator, is the only app I have running main stage here in Stage Manager. What we can do, though, is group apps. So for instance, I have another group of apps where I have Safari, Voice Memos, and YouTube running at the same time, all resizable, but all running stacked on top of each other. So you can have maybe your YouTube making apps with maybe Pixelmator and LumaFusion for your thumbnail and your video, and maybe a homework group of apps so that you can have your word processor and notes and things like that. So uh, definitely, um, more organized, I would say, than what we get in Mac OS by default or even Windows by default. Just being able to not only have Windows on top of each other, but to be able to group applications in Windows um, and access them in a side tab. So that's really functional. Um, and guys, just using it over less than 24 hours at this point, it has dramatically changed the way that I multitask on the iPad Pro. Again, being able to run YouTube videos on the side, in the background, whatever, and see a live uh, grouping of my apps on the sidebar is just really, really helpful. So uh, once again, it's just taken another huge chunk off of why anybody would need a laptop or a computer other than the iPad. I truly believe iPad is becoming the ultimate device. And if you agree, this is the channel that you want to be subscribed to. I've got a ton more videos. I've been using this, just daily driving this hour by hour, digging into the features, guys. So you don't want to miss. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss this. Of course, we cover all things iPad Pro. Apple Talk and Pro Audio. I'm Chris Grant Jr. It's the Granite Geek Show.